Hello to everybody. Well, I'm recording this video to show you uh, details about uh, the way we are going to conduct the, the workshop around uh, CleanCheck Pro. The idea is to show all the, all the doctors the way I manage and I customize the CleanCheck Pro to get outstanding results, okay? So what we are going to do is they have four cases. I don't know if we will have time to modify all of them. And we have four cases, so I'm going to open one of them. For example, case two about digitalization. Okay, they have this case. Okay, so they will see that the case is going to be open. And now everything starts here, okay? This is the clean check in with the clean check pro, the software that they receive. Okay? So using the clean check pro, this is the modality where they can see here in comments all the comments that in design the technician in design give us about this specific case. Okay. Also, if you have done some modifications. Also, you can read here the history of your modifications. Okay, you can see here your comments. Okay, if you want to modify something, you can modify it here. Okay, you can write it. Okay, and here you can see the staging, the way they do have moved in the in the in this in this streaming panel with this. Trimmer. Okay, so if we want to modify the cleanser, we can do in two ways. The first way is using the normal mode, the way we have been doing it for many years, that you just write in here the way you want to modify. You can check the movement and then you can decide okay, and then you can decide okay, okay after checking that, you can tell, okay, I want this, I want that, for example, you can see, for example, I want to fill it with more torque or whatever, this is one. And the other way is going inside the clean tech pro. Okay. You go here, here upright to create modification and open, open the control of the clean check pro. So the first part of the workshop is showing them the way they can customize the toolbar that they have here. Okay. What I like to have to control my case is the superimposition here where I can see the before and after. Okay, from here to here I can see Okay, the before and after the case, just if you put the arrow here down the model, you can check, okay, the before and after. The grid is also something so important because with the grid, I can measure exactly what is the amount of the movement that we are doing. For example, in this case that we are digitalizing, okay, we can compare exactly the amount of expansion or digitalization that we are doing, okay? The attachments, so I can see, or maybe I can, or I prefer to do my modification first without the attachments, so with this part here. Here the occlusion, you go to the contact points, okay, you have two options where you can hide and show the contact points, and you can the option to resolve heavy contact points, but I never use that because normally they do it just including the the teeth as to eliminate that. Okay, so you can hide, and you can show. Okay, you can go here, show, and you can check here the different contact points, and also with the different views, okay? Perfect. Another option is the IPR, 
where you can see you have planned some IPR. In this case, you see that we didn't, well, they didn't do any IPR. Okay. And you can select you want to see or you want to hide. Okay, the IPR and the spaces. Okay, so you can put also only to 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 show the contents of the IPR. Okay, and also the flags. Okay, but normally we work with the height or put the different amount of IPR you can set. Here you can check the different views. You want single view, visual views, both sides together, right and left. Okay, for example, you can check you with the views, you can go to dual side by side, you select, and then you can touch with the arrow of the left part of the screen, and then go to the other and move. So we can play with that, where we can see the different parts. Okay, so we can see both. Okay. Also, you have the arrow here, the bolt-on discrepancy. So I'm going to do the view, single view. The bolt-on, you can hide. So, okay. Also, okay. The different. You can also select the movements where you can see the amount of movement that they have done, the final stage that a line has done. If you modify the final amount of the movement, and here they will show you the difference between what you did and what they did. Okay, here in movements, you have done a few modifications. First, they will show you here if you touch a line. They will show you the amount of movement in each single tooth. And if you select the doctor, you will see what you have done. So you will see different numbers. And with the difference, you see the amount of difference between what you did and what they did. And you can check that with the crown and with the root. Okay, crown and root in any single tooth. Okay. Also, you have here the occlusal plane. You want to modify. Okay the occlusal plane, you can do it also, okay? And you modify that, then you apply, and you will see. So I'm going to show them, okay, you can modify. This is the way I like to put my, my tool, my, my toolbar, but this toolbar can be modified. You can go here to customize toolbar, okay? And you can, if you want, put more, or remove some of the things that you have here. For example, maybe you can see, you want to see the tooth number, okay? Or the different, you want to see the different option of the team, Pontix, okay? And also, here if you want to export the treatment plan, okay? So doing that, you have the different option here in the toolbar. You can leave it everything together, but if you are working with a small screen, you can remove, for example, normally, if I don't use a thin option, so I, I like to, I, I use, I use, I use to disconnect that. Also the export, because it's something that I don't, I don't, I don't export normally. The tooth number is something that I don't use it because I know the, the numbers, and if I want to see exactly the number, I can go inside tools and select the two numbers you want, okay? Also, the overcorrection, you can put it or remove it. So different options that you can modify here in your toolbar, okay? The idea is that the toolbar is something uh, easy for you, something that you have to have here, the tools that you're going to use uh, normally. Okay? Perfect. Okay. We disconnect. The plane. And now we are going to go 
with the modification that I'm going to tell them. Okay? For example, if we go to Chrome, okay, I check the clean check, and for example, I can decide that I don't want some of the attachments or I want to remove some of them. Okay? So, for example, I want to remove the attachments of the 21. So, I push the attachments. Have, we have to see that. So, we can go push the most, okay, and you can go to attachments, attachments here, okay, you have to select the attachments, okay, and then, or with the left button, you can just push the left over the attachment and remove it, okay. You can undo what you did. Also, you can take it, just maintaining the right, the left button, and going to the garbage. And also, you can undo. Okay, once again, or right button, you go with the arrow over the attachment, right button. Remove. And do the new one, or also you can go over here and then go to the garbage. Okay, you can do it in different. For example, here I don't like this attachment because with the two that we are going to use, I can do use of the uh, aligners. This is really small, so we're going to remove that. And we're going to put the Okay. Also, you can modify the side. For example, we have put this vertical attachment. And now you can do zoom you want just to see it better. And we can modify the size and the position. For example, imagine that one you want to put, let's remove this attachment. And let's put this one. That's is a vertical distal bevel attachment. Okay? So you have different arrows to control the position. Okay? And for example, if I want to modify the tip of the attachment, I go to the circle, I go over, you see how the, the black color modify a little bit, and then I push over it and I can modify it. Okay? Once again, we can modify it. And again, also, what we can go is we can modify also the shape and the position of the bevel. For example, I want to increase the bevel to this tab. I go to the arrow that control the bevel, and I modify it. And also, you can modify the thickness. More or less. Okay, you will go to this one. More or less. Okay. Thicker. I want a thicker attachment. And you go over the attachment. You touch with the mouse screen, with the mouse, with the right button. You can touch with the right button over the attachment and you can remove the attachment or also increase and modify the size. For example, we can see like a three millimeters, four millimeters, five millimeters. Okay? You can modify that, okay? How to add an attachment, for example. You can see here, or how to add a, a, a precision cut. Imagine that you want to add a precision cut here to the to a 14. You are here, these are the two precision cuts, and I want to put this precision cut to use a mask. And when I do that, you can see the system don't allow me to do it because 
this attachment, there is no a good compatibility with this attachment or precision gap. You cannot put an optimized attachment with the precision gap. So what we will do? What we do is we can or put the cut in other piece like we have here, or maybe you want the attack the precision gap here with the assortments. Okay? So what we do is we take the attachment onto the garbage and I'm going to use a conventional attachment. For example, the vertical one. So I'm going to also to use the size, right button. So now I have four millimeters conventional attachment. And with that I will put the petition gap. And now you can see that the system allows you to use precision cut with a conventional attachment. Okay? It's clear. Okay, so we're going to solve how to, in the case they cannot put the precision cut, how they can change the optimized attachment for a conventional attachment to use together. In here, you can see this is the precision cut to bond the button that you can you want also. You can take it and move to the garbage because maybe you prefer to use instead of a button a cut directly to the tooth. Okay? So let's remove it. And now also we can add an attachment together with the cut where also you can modify the position of the bit, or maybe you prefer to put it in another part, or maybe you prefer to modify a little bit the position of the attachment. Okay? These are the byte runs that you have in the case. And you have to decide maybe you don't want the by ramps, you can take it and move it to the garbage. Okay. And because we are going to do a digitalization protocol, we are going to add some attachments here because we are going to use cast elastic, so I want a cut with an attachment together. But also, we're going to add some attachments over the upper molar that we're going to distalize. Okay? In this case, it's going to be horizontal, distal, sorry, gingival bevel in the 7 and in the 6. And it's going to be a 4 millimeters. 4 millimeters. And four millimeters. Okay. Also, you can leave it or remove the power reach. Okay. Let's undo. You can remove the power reach. Okay. So this is something around attachments, precision cuts, power reaches. Okay. Now, also, we can modify the shape of the arch, okay? We can add some IPR, and we can also modify the position of the different tooth, okay? So, if we go to tooth, here, it will show you that we can do vertical modifications, so the first arrow is to do vertical modifications. This one, if you want to do an inside or in-out movement inside the arch. Okay, these are the in-out movements. This is the translation movement with this one. Okay. This one is the translation. This one is to do rotations. This one is to control the tip. 
Okay? We're going to do, we are talking about the crown, but also we can do it in the root. Okay? Want to move that. This is to control the root movement, the root torque. Okay? Yes, we want to do root torque. So, and this is to give them crown torque. Okay, so you can, if you want, let's undo, let's unfold, let's undo once again also. Okay. For example, we can decide, looking to our case, that the torque that we have, let's Let's connect the attachments. It's easier to work with that. Okay, when we want to move the teeth, it's better to disconnect the attachments so you have a better image. It's clear, it's clear uh, the way we are. We see the tooth. So, for example, we want to to increase the torque of incisors. Okay, so we can go, for example, first to the root here, to the crown. Sorry, here to the crown. So we can go to the four premolars, four incisors, some torque, some torque, some torque, and some torque. Okay, the crown. And now we can we want to give some good torque. Yeah, some good. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. And the good. Okay. After that, we see that we have increased a little bit. Okay, the over there. Also, we can check, for example, look at the kinds. I want more torque to the crown. So I go with this, it's for the crown torque to this cannon. And also I compensate with some in the middle. Okay, exactly on the other one. I want to give some crown torque. And I want to compensate giving you know, the, maybe we can do something. Also, we can modify the tip of the incisors. This one, I don't like the tip of this one. I want some messier crown tip of the 11. Okay. And also with the IPR. IPR here, where you can auto adjust the IPR, or here, if you go to IPR, you can show the controls here, show the controls to add and do IPR show. I'm going to select show the controls, and for example, in this case, what I want to modify, what I want to increase the IPR to close the black triangles, I push the green, you can do zoom, and you can add some IPR, and you can increase, touching here. Really fast, okay. But you can modify one by one. Also, you want to remove the IPR that you did, just go to the red point, push it, and you can remove the IPR, okay. 
for imaging, for example, in this case, I want to do IPR here. I want to use IPR here. Also here. Also here. Also here. And here. We can go. And we can do some pipe here. Okay, you can increase the IPR you want. So doing that, we have closed the black triangles. Also, we check this lateral incisor that we don't like it. So I go to the tooth. We can hide the controls here. So the contact point is much better. I'm going to do the same with the other one. Okay. So using these features of the clean check, okay, you can adapt the case to your own reference. Okay. Imagine that you want to move uh, a few teeth together, for example. In this case, this is the before, and we have done some intrusion before and after. And you want to add more intrusion in the sixth tooth. Sixth tooth. You can do it one by one. You go to here, to the vertical. You can do it one by one. Or, and do the movement, and do it. You can do it the six together. How we do that? I push, for example, the canine. I push the control button and pushing the control button together, I can select the six teeth and then do the vertical movement together. Or extrusion or intrusion. So when you want to do a symmetry movement, you can do it just pushing the control button. First select one tooth, then push control, maintain control, push the other one, and then you can do it together. Okay. Then also we will talk about the, the shape of the arch. What you want, you can modify the shape of the arch. And, and that's it. How can we block and unblock it? Imagine, for example, that you want to increase the digitalization. Okay? So you want here to the translation movement. Okay? And then you want to move this second molar more to class one. So I go to here. Okay? And now we have a gap here, as you can see. So if you want to move the rest of the arc to distal, you can go here to the molar, second molar that you move to class one, then push the right button and go to lock tooth position, okay? Lock the tooth position. And now you go to the IPR where you want to see the controls of the space in IPR. So this tooth is locked. Now you can go here. You can move tooth by tooth, or what you can do is to lock the position and go to the red point and say, remove the space. And you can see, they move all the arch together because the tooth is blocked, is locked. If you don't lock that, and you go to close the gap, you are going to have a simultaneous movement or distalization and visualization again of this model. Okay? So it's better to distalize, 
then lock the position and now go to the red point and remove the space you can do it. then after that you have to unlock the position you can do the that thing when you want you can do it together the both seven you can touch one seven control the other seven and do it together okay so these are the imagine that all the things that you have done okay you don't like it and you want okay you make your mistakes you can go to reset and then you can reset all of these things the attachments the cuts the position the occlusal or only imagine that you say okay i like everything but i only want to modify to to go back to the attachments of the beginning just disconnect everything just only select the attachments or maybe you 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 like everything and you all want only to modify the cuts or the final position whatever or maybe you can do everything so you just select everything you can reset all the case And then come back again. Okay, it's thinking. Okay, it's maybe it's only, but at the end, when you push the reset, the cleanser will go to the to the beginning. Okay, so okay, this is the the beginning. So the workshop is going to work around all these things. I'm going to give them. I'm going to modify the four clean checks and after the modification of the four clean checks and we're going to do an exercise where I'm going to show them the way and the final picture of the of the of the clean check that I want and then they will work with the four clean checks to modify that to to do the, the final picture that I'm going to show them in, in, in the four. Okay? So thank you very much for your amazing help.